Welcome back. It's your best friends. It's Austin and it's Sean. And right, I'm gonna let the podcast down. It's podcast. podcast. Look at the podcast. I heard the She's purring there girl. for a second. Yeah, good. I hope the mic picked it up. Yeah. She loves being held all the way until she doesn't love being held. Yeah. And then case. she likes to bite. Typical cat stuff. Yeah. We gotta somehow get her to not do that ever again. Uh anyway. Ever again. You know. Oh. Yeah. We'll just take all our teeth out. Oh, that's no, a good idea. <laughs> God damn. Like someone's going to hear that and think I'm sorry. Yeah. It's like the declawing thing, but DT. DT thing. 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 <laughs> yeah, you never heard of it? Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. yeah, it's, it's just to make expensive. sure the cats don't bite your face furniture. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know how it yeah, is. It's not cruel at all. Oh, yeah, yeah you have to feed them uh, a baby bottle the rest of their life. Baby yeah. bottle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. It's not that. It's worth it. <laughs> it's worthy it. sacrifice yes anyway how you been uh pretty good uh i went to a music festival yeah i'm excited um, tell me about it uh it was fun uh it was not as bad as the last one in terms of just like uh i'm pretty sure the last one i talked about how like horrible sleep i got and how i just like got yeah. like, horribly sick afterwards um that didn't happen this time uh <clears throat> I stayed in an RV. However, it was with, you know, eight other dudes, which was really cramped. But my living situation was nice because because uh, they had like a queen bed in there and I took the queen bed with somebody else. And um, I kept after the first night, I kept being like, yo, does anyone need to like switch? And nobody would. So I was like, well, whatever. It's fine. Perfect. So I was sleeping pretty great every night. Um, Hell yeah. Plus, we had air conditioning. And you were, you know, closed from the outside world. So like the sun wasn't waking you up and that and stuff like that. So that's pretty good. One of our mutual friends went and he did tent camping and he said, like, you could not sleep in because the sun would come up and just like you would be in a sauna just in your oh my in God. Your tent. Like, yeah, I bet. He, he was like, I fell asleep and then I woke up just like in a pool of sweat. And I was like, oh, God. Um, But anyway, <laughs> it's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, the rest of the uh, elements of the festival were really good. It was a EDM music festival. It was Imagine Music Festival. Um, was and, the music uh, good? It was, it was good. I, I really liked it. Um, super fun. A lot of really good artists there. Um, and I got back Monday. So does anyone mix live, or does does everyone mix live? Does anyone mix like is that? So there was one artist there. Um, there may have been other ones, but there was one that did like live um like live mixing um as a part of his performance but uh for everybody else it's just like regular djing if i understand what your question is yeah like literally like making the music right then yes so one of them was doing that and like singing um and it was it was actually very impressive maybe on if you've ever heard of that artist um he had a synth on one side and then he had like a little controller on the other side playing like a backtrack and then he was singing and he was doing some other stuff. And then everybody else was just DJing, at least that I saw. Um, Grizz, uh, who is like my favorite artist, uh, he performed and his whole like his whole gimmick, I should say, is that he plays the saxophone. So he'll like be DJing and then he'll get to a part where he'll, well, where he'll stand on like the deck and he'll just start like riffing on the saxophone. And it's super sick. And he's um, actually playing it, right? Yes, he's actually playing it. That's dope. Yeah, it's super. It's super awesome. And he has his. He has like a whole squad with him. So like he has somebody come out and like play the trombone for some of the songs, and then, uh, he has this girl and this guy come out, and the girl sings and the guy raps, and yeah, it's pretty sick. It's a fun performance. Yo, I have a question. If you if you had to play any other instrument other than what you play, which is drums, what would it be? Like, can't play drums. Nothing in the percussion world whatsoever at all. The answer is a lot of instruments, but definitely the saxophone. I do. I would love to learn how to play the saxophone. I think that would be sick. There's also like the other, yeah. like, I wish I played guitar better. I wish I played piano, but like learning yeah. how to play the saxophone, like I, I'll probably, you know, do that before I die. I don't wish I played guitar, but I do wish I could play trombone and sax. Those oh, really? Such- badass instruments trombone is one that i'm surprised by uh it's such a sick like it i think it's very easy well i shouldn't say easy but 
uh the instruments lend themselves well to being funky as hell yeah. trombone and sax so and i don't you know i'm not sure any other instrument lends itself well to actually <clears throat> being funky as an instrument yeah so those would be my two definites well that's how I, that's how i describe my taste in electronic music is if it's funky because like the artists that my top two edm artists are definitely a type because one of them is grizz who plays the saxophone while he djs and the other one is big gigantic which is two dudes who do like a pseudo dj one of them plays drum set and the other one plays a saxophone so it's just like mm. i don't know it's a very particular music taste. you ever heard of fkj uh maybe I, I, I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Anyway. All right. <laughs> That's fine. Um, yeah. Trumpet is another one I think I could learn. I think that one is a pretty funky instrument, I guess. I really like the artist brass tracks, if you've heard of them. Yeah. Um, you've, showed, you've shown me these people, but you're the only one who's ever shown me them. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't know like anyone funk else who... And jazz. Yeah. I don't know anyone else who's like into that genre other than you. Gotcha. So you're like my only, all my questions have to go to you about it. That's fair. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just don't know anything. That is fair. Other than exactly what, what you showed me. So cool. Well, anyway. Yes, that was my week. Uh, I do have another thing to tell you about my week, which is something I learned about today. So I think I told you um, a couple weeks ago that like my mother has moved like my grandfather down here like into a uh, living community just due to his age and stuff like that. Um, he signed up to go indoor skydiving tomorrow. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. What is indoor skydiving? Well, it's like, have you ever seen those things? That's just like, it's like a big glass funnel. It's been, they just like pump oh, a yeah, lot yeah, of air through. And like, it's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, he's going to do that. <laughs> Jesus he signed Christ. up for it. We'll see if he does it. But um, apparently before they left, uh, he kept like driving down the street because there's like a little airstrip near near his house. And there are this, these people that will go skydiving over there. And he just drive over there and just sit down and watch these people skydive. And he's like, I want to do that. And he talked to the people that are over there. And then he's moved down here since then. And a lot of the I think it's like actually something the community is like saying like, oh, we're going to take a trip to the indoor skydiving thing if anyone wants to go. And he's like, yes. So that's interesting. <laughs> wow. That it's interesting so that a, a community like that is taking people to an indoor skydiving place. But, you know, it's what he wanted to do. So whatever. Yeah. That's so funny. Well, yeah. I hope he has fun. Yeah, me too. Hope he's safe, of course. I hope, I hope he's he safe. Fun. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Damn. I you find that interesting. But yeah, that's been my week. I guess their philosophy is like, man, they're pretty old, so we might as well have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the idea. You know, that's that's how I would feel. I feel like yeah, I'm old. I'm like, let's just go for it. Like, yeah, if people were, yeah. if I was old and people were like, no, don't skydive, I'd be like, I'm skydiving. <laughs> yeah, that would push me way further towards skydiving. You know? Yeah, exactly. Um, good. I'm glad your week was good. Yeah. How about I'd yours? Love to hear it. Oh, uh, that's good. That's pretty average. Okay. I've been still getting over the sickness so oh damn yeah i forgot yeah. about that it's just like a cold yeah it seems like it wants to be here for 14 days you know ah, that's tough like it, it's like it went on google and it was like hey how long is a cold and then it was like <laughs> up to 14 days and it was like i got you fam. we gotta max that yeah. out yeah 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 I'm let's really a... let's really max this out here guys yeah, you know yeah. let's really spread it out over these let's days. really go for it let's really put our performance face on and really Really make it happen, okay? I um, I'm definitely get got some kind of something after this music festival. It's pretty light cold, but I've just been like tired, like really yeah. tired, and like a little bit of a sore throat. But that's about it, dude. Like a few days ago, it switched from worse. it switched from like stuckness in my head to like moving, you know, like the congestion, and then it got st stuckness again. I had the worst headache I've had in a long time, Oof. and just like. Oh, I, yeah. Funny story. You know that red light therapy device I have? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's for anyone who's watching or listening. It's basically this block. It's probably 18 inches by 18 inches. It's like a it's like a wreck. It's, uh, it's like a big yeah, tablet. Yeah, it's like a tablet. It's like a huge tablet. Yeah. Good good way to put it. <clears throat> and it has a bunch of red uh, 
red infrared lights on it and then near infrared and far infrared. So some of them you can't see that the LEDs are working because you get, your eyes can't pick it up. And then some of them are red LEDs. Anyway, I put it on my forehead to like help with the congestion and hopefully something. I, I needed something to help. But I fell asleep with it there. And Kendall took a picture of it. She sent it to me the next day. I'm like, I have like this whole red light device like over top of my face. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I look me. dead, bro. So funny. It should be our well, podcast did it help? Uh, picture. Yeah, I mean, it, it helped enough for me to relax to fall asleep. So I guess it helped. I was nice. Ch- I I remember her like chuckling and then moving the thing off my face <laughs> like before I you know. Yeah. So I didn't sleep with it there the whole night, you know. Sure. Um that's pretty funny. Those things are pretty yeah. crazy. They I've are I've never actually like awesome. used one, but like Oh, you haven't? No. I mean, I've like just briefly like looked at yours, but I've never actually like used it, used it. Dude, you got to um, use it. Yeah. Let's try it out. Those things seem pretty magical. They are I don't know. I've had a good experience with it. Call it bro science if you want, but it seems to work. <laughs> hey man, that Whether company's it's placebo or not, very good. Shit's working. I have other shit from that company, or I guess not. Yeah. Technically, it's not technically the same company, is it? True Light, True Dark. I think they're subsidiaries of the same. Gotcha. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They're anyway. Blue blockers are amazing. So yeah, I like those things. Yeah, maybe we can get a, a, a sponsor. That'd be great. That'd be um, great. Yeah. <clears throat> Into your article. Yeah, I got an article. Article time. Uh, it's not. A but first. Oh. 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 There it is. That's right. Look Your home it. for private music lessons. It's Clive my Disney. home for private music com. lessons since eighteen twenty two. Exactly and, correct. Uh, yeah. If you're looking for a place where you can learn an instrument, uh, from a world class instructor. Why don't you come to cloudmusicsuite.com? We got a lot of great looking instructors here. Message uh, some of them for availability. Lots of options. Yes. Uh, yeah. Go check it out. And uh, studs only. Yes. Studs only. Cloudmusicsuite.com also has a blog with a lot yeah. of good content. Music related. Amazing. Go check them out. Um, yes. Laura caves in under New Jersey wedding reception. Holy Jesus. Yeah. So I don't, I'm not sure what this video is and I'm kind of afraid to click on it because I'm afraid it's going to like open a bunch of tabs or something. But um, firefighters responded to a New Jersey wedding reception when the second story floor began to cave in under the uh, revelers. What is a revelers? I have no idea. Uh, I was just about to ask about that. I don't know anything. So So, the Barnegat light volunteer fire department said crews responded to the day mark restaurant in barnegat when attendees at a wedding on the second floor of the building report the floor was collapsing floor did not collapse but caved in resulting in the structure being unsafe for the meantime wait so did it cave in or i'm confused collapse it did not collapse but it caved in it's not the same thing what's the delineation there like i don't know that sounds like the same thing to me. Firefighters credited the DJ at the wedding reception with announcing the issue. Okay, I thought he was going to, I was going to be like playing laying like, down the hot yeah. beats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was really hoping it was just going to be like, um, well, let the, the bodies floor was collapsed. The DJ played, played let, let the, the bodies, bodies hit the floor. Hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> let the bodies hit the floor. Credit to the uh, DJ. Newlyweds, Cassie and Brian. Uh, whoa. <laughs> or I don't want to try to pronounce that name. So the reception, Gagliar, Gag, Gagliar Um, it's a long one. So the reception was just getting underway with about 200 guests when the floor started to cave in. Our DJ just kicked it off, and we were like three songs in. Brian told the T, uh, TV station. Luckily, we were able to get all of our first dances in, all of our speeches in. So you know, <laughs> it's gonna say happy, I guess ending, but the floor still did cave in. Um. <laughs> But uh, anyway, I I picked this article because this happened in Clemson. <laughs> I don't know if you knew really? about that. Yeah. Uh, the uh, um. I, before I tell the story, the uh, let's read this website real quick because it is a whopping uh, like one, one for me <laughs> because one. It's, it this is, is not terrible. Good, this is worst worst we've seen. This so is worse than ads. that ESPN one. Like we have pop ups over here that aren't even populating, yeah. and um, they don't even yeah they don't even work. Look at them. Yeah, so bad. I don't even know. Um, there's a, is that just a bunch of pictures? Terrible. Yeah. Terrible video. Good. Definitely a one. 
All right. So uh, one out of ten. Uh, one out of ten. Easy. Yeah. Easy. So in in Clemson, I want to say it was my freshman year. There was like a fraternity house or something that like had so many people in it on the second floor that it just caved in. Just completely. Oh my god. I, I just I remember it turning into like such a meme. I'm gonna see if I can find the video, but uh, it's pretty gnarly. Wait. I think you did show me or tell me about this. I'm having a memory of it. This was a long time ago. Yeah. I, I was going to say, I may have. I may have. I think you, you showed me and I think you told me. Okay. Yeah. There, there's like a video out there of it happening. Like people are dancing Jesus. and then it just yeah. completely falls. Bro, through. like it completely falls, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I had forgotten that happened at Clemson, but I remember you showed me that video. That's so. Oh god, it's derived. Uh it's so ridiculous. It is pretty nuts. Good god. Uh, yes. Uh I'm gonna see if I can find this. And while you're while I'm doing that, do you want to talk about oh uh, you're doing that? Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay. So we've been chilling at the 41 subscriber count for a minute now, which is great. I love all of our 41 subscribers. And if you're listening, you subscribe. Thank you so much. We love you. But got to bump that number up so if you're listening right now and you're not subscribed go ahead and do that on youtube if you're listening on youtube and watching on youtube we have a spotify so if you want to watch uh or i should say listen without the picture you can do that on spotify okay also we have a patreon okay our lost episode is on there if you want to hear some really cringy audio it's a great episode, but the audio is really bad. Our so we have three really tiers bad. to the Patreon. There's a your best acquaintance, your best buddy old pal, and your best friend. Of course, your best friend is the tip top tier. So if you want to get on that, get on that. Also, check the link in the description for this beautiful product, Homebiotic. I use this Homebiotic. Just used it recently around the sink. The sink likes to build up a little bit of grime around it so we clean that bad boy up with some hydrogen peroxide and then we hit it with the home biotic okay it's looking spick and span now as they say did you find it sean uh yeah i think so you did yeah all right let's i'm excited we'll see if the audio works oh no you gonna share it uh it's just playing ads i don't know if we, uh, i don't know if, I don't okay. know if we got it <laughs> All right, not sure. Okay, so that's fine. So we have not, something new, right? You have something new. Yeah, we're gonna try it. If this is an epic fail, then it's an epic fail, and it's an epic fail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But first of all, most importantly, okay, this episode is brought to you by Cloud Music Suite. Hey, look, at, look that. at that. Okay, all right. Go ahead and look check out the instructions. All right, okay. So what we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to play a game. We're going to have to guess logos, okay? But first and most importantly, can we go ahead and pick a little emoji here? Oh, definitely. You want to be the Black Panther? You want to be the chicken? Oh, sorry, chick. Right Give me chicken. A... Cow. What you feeling? Give me a owl. Give me that little polar bear. This where this one? Right next to it. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Uh, polar bear, polar look polar at bear. him. All right. You're running me a Joe Rogan. Bear. I just saw a Joe Rogan uh, little thing where he's talking about polar bears eating people. Okay. Let's try <laughs> this thing. All right. All right. If cool. it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Oh, here we go. Okay. So. Oh, God, I got to get this out of the way. Okay. All right, what logo is this? We have four options, okay? So easy. I know easy what money. this is. You know what this is. You ready for it? Yeah. Three, two, one, YouTube. YouTube, for All sure. Right. Boom, easy. It's the thing you're watching us on. Correct. That is the thing you're watching us on. You're going to subscribe. <laughs> okay, you're going to subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. Ding that little bell. Okay. Oh, let's go. I'm in first place against myself. Oh, okay, right. I don't want all these animations. This is a little bit extra. Is That's there no okay, way though. we can uh we can uh have two subsidize people? this? Uh, maybe not. I think I just <laughs> have to. Yeah. All right, what logo is this? Easy. Uh, Three, easy. two, one, Starbucks. Starbucks. All right. All right. Let's get it. Okay. We're going uh next. In, next. next. Okay. Yes. All right. What logo is this? Easy. You got it? Yeah. Three, two, one, Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> Bluebird. Easy bro. <laughs> easy, bro. All right. We're going next. Easy. All right. 
What logo is this? You got this one? Uh, yeah. Three, two, one. Under, Under Armour. Armour. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Word, word, word. Okay, boom. Boom. Yeah, we're rapid fire in this shit. Let's yeah, we go. Are. We are quick. Uh, you got it? Yes. Three, two, one. Instagram. Instagram. I didn't even wait for you. I know nah, you know that's that. that's fine. You know. Thanks. All right. Hacking all right. All right. Let's make a hard one. Here we go. Okay. You know what yeah. this is? Yeah. Three, two, one. Olympics. Olympics. <laughs> all right. Yo, easy dubs, bro. Yo, these are mad easy. Let's go. Come on. Let's get a harder one. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep. yep. Got Three, it. Three, two, one. Gmail. Gmail. Yeah. That's the old Gmail logo. They changed that shit now. That's true. They did. Okay. All right. Easy. McDonald's. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even need it. Three, two, one, that one. Yeah. All right. Give us something hard, bro. Yeah. Come on. Look it. All right. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Google, Google Drive. Drive. Nice. I okay. think they changed that logo, too. Maybe not. I think they did. Yeah. All right. Oh God, you say it. Apple. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a little hard. iOS six. iOS sixteen came out. Yeah, I need to get that. I need to get that on my phone. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Snapchat. Snapchat. All right. All right. So they're getting. Uh... Okay, you got it. Yeah. Three, two, one. Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. <laughs> one of the right. options is just Seth. <laughs> No way. Yeah, one of those options was just Seth. Interesting. Seth. You got it? Yeah. All right. Go for it. Nike. All right. Just do it, baby. Just do it. All right. What do we got next? Here we go. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Got it. Three, two, one. Spotify. Spotify, where you can find the Your Best Friends podcast. That's right. If you don't want to watch the video, you can go on over to Spotify. Okay, you ready? Uh, yeah. You sure? No. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, well, actually, two, one. And Jordan. NBA. Fuck! Oh, you got your first one wrong, dude. It I was, was between Jordan. Jordan and NBA. It was Jordan. Okay, so that's minus one for you, Dang. Sean. There, minus one, minus one for Obviously Sean. Obviously, don't watch basketball. You got to. Oh my god! Uh, I got this one. I got this one. Uh. I mean, the only one that starts with a Q, right? I don't know. Here, let's try it. Three, two, one. Quizlet. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is Quizlet. Okay, yeah. I was like, it's got to be the one that starts with a Q, right? Yeah, they didn't give the best options. Yeah. Okay, easy. Three, two, one. Google Chrome. Chrome. Have you seen that uh, ad campaign for Google Chrome where it's like, there's no place like Chrome? (laughs) No. It's so good. Oh no! Oh man! Well, uh, I can rule right. out two. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, okay. I think I got mine. I think I got. Uh, I think ready. I got mine too. Yeah. Three, two, one. Vector. Logo maker. I'm gonna go with logo maker. Oh, oh! So you got two wrong, bro. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting dunked. You're getting slapped. Okay. Uh, all right, oh, die! Uh, Wait, okay. actually. Wait. Okay, okay. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. You ready? I do not know. Colts. Hold it's on. the Colts. It's the Colts. What okay. were you gonna say? I was gonna say the uh, I don't know whatever the green one was. I forgot what it was already. Something else. Yeah. Not that. Uh, it's easy. Three, yeah. two, one. App store. App store. Okay. Good. So you missed three now. Sean. I have missed three. I am bad at this. <laughs> I like you got it. this one? Oh, easy, easy. Three, two, one. Pringles. Pringles. Let's go. I'm not a big fan Yo, of Pringles. Give me the, we should me do the a dub, chip dude. tier list. Oh my god, we should do a chip tier list, bro. Uh, easy. Three, yeah. two, one. Microsoft. Microsoft. Okay, we're on twenty-two out of twenty-five. Twenty-three out of twenty-five. Okay, here we go. Nice. Uh, uh wait. I think I, I know. I think I, I, think I know. Three, two, one. Google, Google classroom. classroom. Yeah. All right, let's see if we're right. That's an old Google Classroom. That uh, is a Google. Yeah, that's an old one. Okay. Good job. This thing's the last one, or maybe two more. Oh, bro, Easy. come on. Three, two, one. 
Facebook. Facebook. Okay. Suck. Last one. Uh, you got it. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. Three, two, one. Adidas. Adidas. Nice. God damn. Let's go. All right. Nice. Let's see what happens. So, legend runner. I think I don't think I missed one. Hey! No, no, you didn't. Yeah. No, I don't want a token multiplier. Fuck your shit. Yeah. So All I right. got, <laughs> so I lost three. <laughs> Dang. That sucks. So you got a twenty-two out of twenty-five. Is that an A still? What's twenty-two times four? Nope. You got a B, bro. You got an eighty-eight percent. Sean Michael Danielson. That's fine. Sean Michael Danielson. You did pass. All right. B's for degrees, as they say. I think they do. Actually, they say D's for degrees. They, they say D's for degrees. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Dang. Well, um, anyway, um, just gonna. I guess I'll just leave this up for everyone to, everyone to look at. Yeah, why not? Look Beautiful, at that. amazing, great stuff. I like it. It's a good looking. I, website. I love it. All right. Anyway. All right, and we're back. All right. Hey, that was pretty good. Yeah, I like it. You know what we should do is we should do, what's it called? Where they show you like two logos and you have to choose which one's the right one, but they like change one small thing about it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, I like that. I don't the know. Su- the uh, something effect. I can't remember what it's called. I like that. That'd be cool. That'd, That'd be, be a good one. Let's try it out. Um. Dude, we didn't do our factor fib. Is it my factor fib time? The, it's it is your turn for that Mandala okay, effect. That's what it's called. Man, Mandala effect. Yeah, or the Mandela effect or something. I don't know. Basically, means um, like it's like a false memory. It's like you're given two images, and it's like, uh, is that the logo or is that the logo? I think it's that one, but your memory gets mm, messed up because you see two. That makes sense. Let yeah. me just confirm with the, the, the Googs before I ask you this question. The Googs. Uh, one question. Do you know what bereavement is? No. Take take a guess based on the word. Just If you're taking time off for bereavement, what are you taking time off for? Don't jujul it. Oh, that's that's my question for you while I jujul my other thing. You're, you're taking time off like for work? Or yeah, 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 yeah. Is it something you take off for work and and would you take it off for school or is it more commonly a work thing? You could. School, work, those are pretty much the only two uh, options. Some kind of uh, surgery or something? I have no idea. No, it's a grieving. It's a, it's a period of grief. So like if oh. someone dies, you can take bereavement time off and if you get bereavement pay then it's like it's so if they're deaf in the family you know now you know what does the word bereavement mean uh, i guess it means to mourn or to take time to mourn i don't know look up the uh, word bereave i don't know I but i had I another question for thing. you why what made you think of that uh someone asked me yesterday and i i was like actually they said it and then i was like no i don't think that's right and then i confirmed, confirmed with the with the googs um the juge yeah. anyway you ever heard of parkinson's law before i've heard of it it's so interesting so i'm just going to read here parkinson's law is an adage that quote work expands so as to fill the time available oh, for dude, its completion we talked about this do you, yeah. do you remember we had a um we had an article i want to say it was with uh when devin was our guest it was it was when yeah. one of our top one of our tied, tied for, for the number top, one yes. best guests ever was on there yeah it was devin so yeah we're talking about the six hour work day and that's right sweden or something yeah so it's sometimes applied to the growth of bureaucracy in an organization but it can be applicable to, applicable to all forms of work i agree like it is always dude the bigger the organization gets i just think the most important thing to check in on as you grow your organization is like are we making things that are just gonna fill the fucking time of the nine to five, like I wish the culture would change already to where it, it would be seen as a good thing for you to finish your work quickly 
rather than take forever. Yeah, to it's, your work. it's much better. Uh, I guess it like depends on whatever it is that's being made. Well, I guess it really doesn't. It should be measured by output. Like just output. It should be should measured be by output. The metric, not time. Yes. Um, like it's it's yeah, so much know. better. If it, like it, I can't think of a situation where time is more important than results. The only thing that I can think of is like testing. Something that's like testing related where you have to spend a lot of time waiting. Well, explain around. explain your point. Why would it be better in testing or why would it be beneficial in testing to take more time? I guess that's not inherently time related though. That's just time by nature. It's not it's not about it's not about we need 40 hours of testing. It's more about like just testing takes a lot of time. So I guess that's kind of not really true. But wouldn't it be better if it took more like less time, right? Well, hold uh, on. If you got the same result but it took less time, don't you think that would be a beneficial oh, yes. thing? Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like what I don't know. Well, or like time-based testing, right? So like like uh for example, uh Like my dad was a uh, aerospace engineer. Uh, he did that for a living, and at a point in his career, he was doing work on like the inflatable slides that would come out of airplanes um, okay. for like safety when you have to leave uh, during like an evacuation or something like that. And they had to wait and like go out in the middle of the night and wait for very particular like variables to align before they can actually like test it and it's not inherently like time-based but it's very you know you can't really say like i need to get it done quickly it's just very dependent on when something happens if that makes sense yeah that makes sense but that probably wasn't the only thing that he had to do for that whole work day mm, no you know what i mean yeah i still don't think the i get what you're saying like time has to play a factor it has to play a role in certain things and it's you can't just say let's just get it done quicker because yeah. it's just not possible not plausible i should say right but for things that it is plausible i just like i was taking this fucking like continuing ed course right and you got you know the assignments that you turn and get graded this is like a class and an assignment I took, I don't know, bro, like, I can't remember all the details, but I took maybe, like, 20 minutes to finish it, and I submitted that, and I just, like, looked, didn't look again for another week at the course, right? And then I I looked back at my feedback. I didn't get 100 on it. I got, like, it was really high still. So it was in an A. It was in the A range. She said, I have no commentary, you know, no negative commentary on this. But I noticed on Canvas, because it was like a course through Canvas, right? I noticed on Canvas that you signed in at this date, this time, and then you logged out this time. So it looks like you only spent about 25 minutes on this. We really should have spent a lot more time on this. And I was like, what? Yeah, that's nonsense. Complete nonsense. Yeah, there's no, there's no reason that is, for it. There's no basis for saying those words whatsoever at all. Time is so... Like, if you want, if you want to talk about like what's more like more beneficial than money is time. You know what I mean? Like, sure. And that's what money can get you is more time. Uh, but that's a different conversation. But like, there's a different conversation. Um, I don't know that this idea that like we need to set time, a specific time where we need to be like sitting down and doing this thing when it could be done in a much shorter period of time, or like there's an expectation that something needs to take an amount of time. It's it's ridiculous. It's not, uh, yeah. you know, things are going to get done way slower. Yes, I agree. And people are going to be a lot less happy. Like if you are, if you have to stay for eight hours, but you can get what you need to get done in two hours. If, if there was just this carrot dangled in front of you that said, once you finish your tasks, you leave, you go home. 
people would get their shit done so much faster. I was thinking about this though. Then if they got their shit done so much faster and they were leaving after two hours, you know what would happen? They would get more work, probably. Yeah. They would get more work. But then the next two hours wouldn't be as productive as the prior two hours. That's proven fact, by the way. After a two hour work session, you have a heavily diminishing returns in almost every activity, including uh, sports. Like there's been a lot of like studies done where it's like two hours is the sweet spot for a focused time of getting better at something. Less than that, you can you can get better, but you might not hit the state where all the stuff starts to click. You might not hit this the not you know if it's a group activity the group collective consciousness is not going to reach a point within the hour to actually make progress on the thing that's substantial and meaningful as a group. But around the one to two hour mark, they're able to get into it and now they start to flow for the rest of the hour. But after that two hours, it starts to wane and then you have to, you have to like use tactics to pull it back in. I have a lot of like dissonance with that as it relates to indoor. So I think it's like, extremely important to be able to have like state breaks built in yeah uh that are just like and it can be like the silliest shit ever it doesn't matter what it is like something completely random that's not drum related you know or just a random conversation and then do your best you know to start another session of getting back in there with the with the knowledge of any Anytime you pull out of that state, it's not like you can get back into it with the snap of the fingers. Yeah. Like you got to dig that shit out of yourself it's and much, it takes time harder. to get back in there. Yeah. It takes time to get back into a state. But anyway, we're going down a rabbit hole with this Parkinson's law thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I agree. It's a bummer. <laughs> it it's, a bummer. Bu- it's a bummer that the, uh, expectation and i think it's changing slowly but it um it's changing that like the expectation is more about output than time yeah just wish it was yeah i wish it was about output yeah anyway yeah factor fib yes hit me with it i gotta think oh <laughs> thought you I okay thought you okay ju- okay you ready jujoled. you ready here we go. No, yes. I didn't. I did not. Oh, I googled okay. Parkinson's law just to read that little tidbit. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Here's a factor fib for you. Or a true or false or whatever you want to call it. For every one gram of protein and one gram of carbohydrate, so one gram protein, one gram of carbohydrate, those two things combined together still have less calories than one gram of fat. Is that a factor? Is that a fib? So one gram of protein, one gram of carb added together still has less calories than one gram of fat. Is that true or false? I think that's true. Do you know the numbers? No. But I know that fat is higher calorie than carbs and protein. I don't really know by how much, and I don't know if it is necessarily if that's the case for both protein and carbs put together. Uh, but I would imagine, yeah, I'm going to say fact. I'm going to guess fact. It is a fact. Let's go. So protein's four grams. Uh, four calories per gram carbs okay. also four calories per gram and fat is nine calories per gram oh, and this okay. is like a, this is as your averages oh but, okay so um, this, that's yeah. very uh it was on the cusp yeah crazy yeah. Yes. so yeah good job good job it's pretty crazy dude that's another conversation we could have <laughs> it's very it's a very opinionated one i guess but that's okay <laughs> i think tracking calories for health purposes absolute fucking waste of time and energy for health purposes 
if your purpose is to gain muscle mass, that can oh, yeah. be a, it can be a tool to help you ensure that you're progressively overloading yourself to be in a consistent calorie surplus. That said, for health purposes, in my opinion, waste of time and energy. Unfortunately, I agree with you, but <laughs> um, yeah, I think like if you're just trying to be a healthier person, the thing that needs to change is just like the ratio of things you eat needs to turn from like uh, like processed, not, you know, food that's not good for you, sugar, stuff like that. And it just needs to switch to like whole foods, more vegetables, yep. more meat, more fruit. Yeah, that's that's I'd say ninety percent of the changes that have to happen. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like chips um, are really good, but they're not they're not a health food, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but dude, to sit there, okay. Here, here's here's the thing: if you're eating meat, fruit, vegetable. I'll just say exactly what I had for lunch. I had half a sweet potato. I had half a pound of grass-fed 80-20 ground beef. Nice. I had a fat-ass chunk of butter on there, and I had a bunch of salt on there, and then I had some blueberries. Do I know how many blueberries? No. Do I care how many blueberries? No. What a waste of time for me to go and find out how many calories or estimate, to be clear, how many calories and how many grams of carb are in that sweet potato, half sweet potato I ate, to measure out the butter I ate and figure out how many grams of fat, saturated fat are in there, to do the same thing with the beef and then like count how many blueberries there are. Are they large blueberries? Are they small blueberries? Like, what? No, this is real food. Like, it, promise. I will bet. Lots of money. If every single person on the planet ate that for two meals a day and then did whatever else they wanted for the third meal within reason, we would have a lot healthier planet. Oh, okay. We'd have a lot healthier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, you don't think it would be he or healthy is not the word I'm looking for. Like, a tool to use tracking calories to minimize the amount of, like, chips i eat. let's say I eat chips for like every meal no don't think so no. well let's what's the here's my question what's the real issue is the real issue the calories from the chips is that actually the issue no it's just more no. it's it's less that you're not getting the other things um, well, sure it's that too but it's also like <clears throat> that causes a lot of inflammation and once there's inflammation in the body i'm a lot better at storing fat you know what i mean yeah. So that could, I mean, there's, there's health foods, health foods in quotes that cause inflammation too. Uh, I mean like kale and shit, you yeah. know, yeah. kale is like, there's so many compounds that are inside kale that are like flat out, not a conversation Bell bad for, you. for some people too. Yeah. Like they're just not good for you and they'll cause like inflammation hardcore. Anyway, I, I just don't think the issue is the chips. The issue is some kind of psychological attachment to it or the just the general psychology around what to eat and how to treat the foods that you eat sure so i think the answer would be change the psychology of the person and then they'll be able to manage it better like it doesn't you don't have to stop eating chips forever sure you know i eat chips yeah i agree it's like a relative thing chips. yeah um it's like a relative thing of just like figuring out how to just have a better relationship with food and then eating less of one thing and then eating more of the other thing, but not counting the numbers with it. Yeah. Fuck all the numbers. Yeah. I mean, maybe the numbers could go from, I ate one whole bag of chips today to <laughs> a little bit less than one. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all dependent upon the person, but uh, yeah. You know what else is huge for health? Like it's just like walking. Like, yeah. I was, like, I was thinking about around. that the other day like people will have like these ideas of like what they need to do to like be healthier and it's just like you don't need to go lift heavy weights every, all day or every day 
and you don't need to have like a very like you know regimented like i do arms today legs tomorrow or i go for for a run for two miles every day not for health obviously if you have like you know bodybuilding goals or something like that do that but like if you're just trying to be healthier if you're like on the older side and you're just like i eat poorly and my joints hurt and i don't feel good like walking just like every day is such a good thing. Like I think those like walk like uh step counter things are actually like super beneficial. Like when people do like the ten thousand um steps every day kind of goal, I think that's huge. I mean, it just keeps you active uh in some way, shape, or form. It gets you outside. I, I think that's the biggest thing too, is also like, you know, not doing it on a treadmill. I think some people like to put like a treadmill next to their desk or something like like one of those desk treadmills. So they can like walk uh, and yeah. do, which is probably fine, but like ten thousand steps outside in the sun, like that's that's where the money is. You're getting all kinds of good stuff from that. I have not done enough of that lately. I have Gotta not do done that. much since I moved into this new place. <laughs> Dang. Gotta learn the area. Gotta learn the area, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, we didn't talk about that on air. Oh yeah, we didn't. Yeah, You're this is a new this is a new background. Little apartment, man. Yeah, I got a I got a place. I got a place for myself. I keep switching up the background on on uh, this podcast. Yeah, how um, dare you? I know, just disappointing. Well, uh, how far away are you from where I'm at now? That's about the same. About the same, yeah. like forty minutes. Yeah, I just went up north. Um, a little, little ways. Say your address, Charlie. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, I got a place. It's nice. I'm on the hunt for, you know, furniture and stuff. I already got a lot of furniture though from the beginning. So not desperate. So that's good. I have like Still a very sleeping on the floor, not desperate, yeah, not desperate, but this is my bed actually. Uh, um, no, that's like an old desk that I'm using as my dinner table. <laughs> Oh, nice. Nice. that's your dinner table? Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Living it's the folding, dream. folding chairs. Yes. So we're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not horrible. <laughs> and that's the only thing in here. So, that's it? There's yeah. nothing else? No, there's yeah. a couch and stuff. No, I'm kidding. Um, nice. Uh, but yeah, I got a place. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. Shall we uh, wrap it up? Yeah. You got any thoughts of the week? Nah. Oh, yeah, I do. I do, you actually. Liar. I li- I'm a liar. You I was thinking little... about this while I was at my music fe- festival um, because I got teary-eyed during one of the performances. It was actually Madeon's, the one I was talking about, um, because I was thinking about how cool it is. It's so cool that something like music can just, like, bring people together. Like, it's it's it's... I had, like, this weird moment where I was just, like, First off, there's one dude standing on that stage and is like commanding a huge crowd of people. That's so impressive. That was the first thought I had. And then the second thought I had was people just like put their life on hold, spent more money than they needed to do just to be around people and just to listen to music. And like, I think music is super powerful in that regard. Like it can just like make a bunch of stuff just kind of like melt away. And I think that's beautiful. Um. Yeah, got me in my feels thinking about that. Why do you think that is? Why? Mm. I think it's expression. I think I think music for an artist allows them to express themselves, and I think as a listener, it allows people to interpret. I guess. I don't. I don't know. There's there's a lot of variables. I'm not yawning because I don't like your answer. So uh, yeah. <laughs> next. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the answer. That's why it's I was something. You. It's something to no. That's fair. I think it, it's something that people can share, uh, and through like somebody's music, there can be some kind of message or interpretation, um, that can allow people to like sympathize. Uh, with other people i think that's one answer um well, it hits all the emotional spots yes uh i think the other answer is just like it can allow people to just like 
I, I don't know why this is, but just be themselves, I guess. Like everybody. I was about to ask you that. I think when someone's not being themselves, they're in their head. Yes. And when someone's listening to music, they're typically not in their head. Yeah. They're feeling. They're in their feeling body, right? They're feeling self. So the mask comes down, you know, the curtain, the curtain rises, however you want to call it, you know? Yeah. And then there's nothing in the way of true connection. Well, that's, that's whether it be deep or shallow, true connection can be deep or shallow, you know? And, and if you're with a bunch of strangers that you're never going to see again, oftentimes it's shallow, but it doesn't matter. It's still true connection. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just like when when you're in that setting of a music festival, it's so cool to see because people will wear whatever they want and they'll listen to whatever they want and then they'll just like dance and they'll just talk to whoever they want. And I don't know, it's really cool to see because it's not just like it's not like a convention where you go with just the people that you're with and you only engage with the people that you're with. It's like you go and you get lost in a sea of people that all are experiencing the same thing and feeling similar things and you're able to talk to them and there's like you know everybody's lives are just like out the window all the anxieties and stuff are out the window and people are just talking to each other i don't know it's really cool that was my of the week (laughs) so go listen yeah no i like it i like it yes do you have a thought of the week hmm or thoughts on my thoughts? No, I, I think I have all my thoughts on your thoughts are still brewing, unless I said them already. Said some stuff, but yeah, yeah, they're brewing. I don't know, they're not fully formed. It's fair. Yeah. Um. Thought of the week, man. It's very different than yours, but. It has been my thought of the week. I think financial news and financial media is hilarious. Like, (laughs) terribly so far off from what should be the focus. Always. Like, always. To the point where it feels like just from from a perspective of how do I even say this without sounding like a douche? Like from a perspective of someone who has a particular um, financial goal, not even that, like a framework, like my framework yeah. is my framework and it does not matter what is happening with the, <laughs> the, the fed interest rates do not change my framework. You know what I mean? The uh, no war in Russia emotions. does not change my framework. Biden being president does not change my framework. Like I'm just trying to think of all the things that have been like, oh my God, worrisome, and it's the end of the world for the financial markets. Sure, mortgage rates going up do not change my. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I can just go on and on and on. Every single thing that gets talked about does not change my financial framework, and it should not change anyone's financial framework if it's a sound one in my opinion but it does and it's it literally seems like it's it's the it's rigged to get you to panic and get out and leave it leave it to the professionals you know so that someone else can manage your money you can't manage your money you don't know what you're doing let a professional handle it for you but you know what the professionals do they suck like they lose to the market like if you just passively put your money in the market Like you're going to crush them. And it's hilarious because those are the dudes that are paying attention to rates. Those are the dudes that are watching the Fed minutes and listening and like, oh, is he hawkish or is he dovish? And it's like, guess what? It doesn't matter. Like are the companies you're invested in getting more valuable? Are they taking market share in what they're doing? Are they getting more revenue over time? Is their net income increasing? That is all that matters. Like that is literally the only thing that matters. Like the macro environment is not what matters. Anyway, that's been my thought of the week. Yeah. What's the, what's the saying? It's like 
time in the market beats timing the market. Oh, for sure. Like, like 100%. That is the saying. And it's absolutely so ridiculously true. Yes. Like, I'll tell you, I've made a, f- I have been victim to like a few short term decisions. Every single short term decision I ever made, I fucking regret the shit out of it. And every other decision I've made is extremely long term. And it's been all, all of those decisions have been ridiculously prosperous. And it's like, okay, well, it's very clear to me after making those few short term decisions that this is just a complete terrible way to do it. Like it was so stressful and it didn't work out. Yeah. So anyway. No, oh, yeah, I agree. I, d- I never read like those news tabs on like the brokerage uh accounts like if you go to like td and they have like the news section yeah i do for my positions because that's where you see like earnings that's where you see company news like oh well this company expanded into this market news tab of a particular like stock ticker yes i'll I'll follow my companies but there's just like a general like market news thing it's just like yeah dow jones editor picks you know something something zero percent now (laughs) <laughs> mortgage yeah. Uh, loans yeah and now yeah now mortgage rates just hit like a you know whatever 15 year high or something maybe even more than 15 years maybe. maybe like you know i don't even know because i don't care yeah <laughs> yes i know they're high i know that they're high do i need to know how many years it is no, bro, no. it doesn't matter yeah panic all i know is i'm not gonna be buying a house right now you know that's true so yes. anyway yes all right let's wrap yes. it all right. Homebiotic, link in the description. Go ahead and get you some. It's a great yeah. product. Subscribe, like. Subscribe, comment, like. Comment anything. Comment. Anything, literally anything. Yes. If you like our hats, comment that. If you don't like our hats, yeah. comment that. Yeah, let me know. Oh, we got our first hate comment, bro. I forgot to say that. Oh, we did. In this episode. Yeah, she said on the Danger Coffee episode, she said, Ew, stop smacking. So gross. Shout out to Susan Fitch. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Thanks for the comment. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming. We greatly thanks appreciate for it. Appreciate it. <laughs> we're gonna go like it now. <laughs> yeah, we were uh, sipping on coffee, and I think we were literally making fun of the Edie's guy, where it's like <laughs> all ten thousand taste buds, you know. <laughs> and then she just, just ew, stop. Them, you know? <laughs> yeah, she was like, "Ew, don't do that. Gross." That's funny. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. All right. Well, yeah, I'm not. I'm really. not. That was from. Uh, well, it's been your best friends. It's Austin friends. and it's Sean. All right. Have a great night. We love you. We love you.